we are constantly choosing the path of least resistance. And that's exactly why those in authority have no respect for us. There have been hundreds of situations where fighting was prescribed. But whenever Malcolm would ask for permission to rumble, he was told it wasn't the time. If those cowards in leadership positions who were members of the 1965 Fruit of Islam had hearts that had faces, they would look like men ready to faint. Why play games about it? When are we going to admit that we are terrified of white men? The leadership of the Nation of Islam of 1965 had no problem agreeing to beatdowns or murder of black people just for merely disagreeing with them. But whenever Malcolm went to the leadership and spoke of physical war with white men who were brutalizing and murdering our people, Malcolm would notice the look of fear etched on the faces of the leadership that resembled these looks. the leadership of the Nation of Islam were fear-stricken just thinking about fighting white men and said God would deal with white people. But when the decision to hurt Malcolm came up, Nation of Islam members were foaming at the mouth and beside themselves with all types of death talk for Brother Malcolm. Take this guy as an example. Don't let his friendly smile fool you. In 1965, John Peters was an FOI captain who was running around town trying to find a silencer for his illegally owned pistol that he wanted to attach to his Roscoe to take some shots at Malcolm. One can smile and smile again and still be a villain. John Peters, when he flashed his teeth, fooled many people. This guy wanted Malcolm so bad he couldn't think straight. He wanted to be like Bond, James Bond. He wanted to use an exotic silencer on his pistol so that he could be applauded as a hero and good guy in the Nation of Islam. He wanted to have a rep as the captain who took out Malcolm with his silencer. He wanted to get upped. He wanted to be known as a made man, not to be messed with. He wanted to be known as the guy who could drop you and nobody wouldn't even hear it because he used his silencer. This is Leon Amir, who was Cassius Clay's secretary, whom they beat unmercifully up in Boston. And it was he who heard Elijah Muhammad Jr. come to New York when Elijah Muhammad was at the armory in June of last year. Junior stood up and told the fruit, many of whom are here now also, that uh, I should have been killed, that my tongue should have been put in an envelope and sent back to Chicago by now. And then Clarence, the captain from Boston, and uh, John, the captain from Springfield, came to New York to assassinate me and came to him to get a silence. Yeah, but history would prove that it was his dumb ass that needed to be silenced. This clown betrayed the Black Revolution. <laughs> Yeah.
get this nigga quick. Let's blow up the damn house. Sick that nigga. We gotta get that nigga. Fuck that nigga. He got to die. He got to die right now. He's up there talking about HR Hunt. He's talking about where the mess of getting his money. He's talking about where the mess of getting his money. I never did like that, red nigga. He's got to die now. Let's kill that nigga. Let's blow up the whole ball. We gotta get that nigga. He's got to die now. This should have been done. We gotta get Let's kill that nigga. Get that Let's blow up the whole ball. Now it's too late. We gotta get that nigga. He talking about the messenger. He talking about the messenger. Call up brother John in Springfield. Tell him to get a silencer. Let's kill that nigga. We gotta get him. We gotta get him. We gotta get, him. We gotta get Malcolm right now. Get John on the that nigga's messing with our money. Bring this that nigga's down. got to die. I just want to quit. Kill that nigga. Kill that nigga. We gotta get that motherfucker. We gotta get that motherfucker right now. You hear me? We can't wait. Let's kill straight that nigga. I'll go off on that nigga. Wait a minute. Hold his arms. We supposed to be the baddest army on this planet. We gonna let this one nigga take us down. And destroy all the stuff we got. Shit. I heard the nigga is scheduled to go in 60 minutes. Nah, man. We the FOI, yeah? We the FOI, bro. We supposed to smash motherfuckers, man. We supposed to destroy niggas. We gonna let this one nigga mess us up? Parents of Boston will take care of this. It's taking those brothers in the gun so long to get to I'll shoot them down like a damn dog. Hold on, man. Smash that red nigga down to the pain. Rip his fucking lungs out. Cut his goddamn nigga balls off. Put that nigga right on a slab. He's got to die now. We supposed to be the FOI, man. The baddest Trust army you. on this planet. Been done. We gonna let this one nigga take us down? Trust Get Captain Cheaters from man. Springfield on this the phone. This is insane. Oh, let me sit down. Oh, God. to die right now. We got to get that yeah, motherfucker right now. Bad. I like the want barber that talking nigga. all kinds of shit. He talking about where the mess is getting the get money. Now he talking about the CEO. I'm going to lose that. I got shit, man. I just want to lose that. I think we got to lose that. We got to get that motherfucker. Cut that nigga. We got to get that motherfucker. 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 Wait, oh, oh, motherfucker, oh, I'm getting sick. Let's blow up the oh, damn oh, house. Oh, 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 my heart, oh, my heart, oh, 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 oh. I'll oh, skin oh, that nigga. Oh, oh, let me sit down. Oh, God, uh, uh, pull his goddamn spine out. Uh, I'll crush that nigga. Crucify that red nigga. Crush that nigga's chest. He's gonna bring this whole thing down if we don't get this nigga. Kill that nigga. We gotta kill get this nigga quick. We gotta get that nigga. Oil that nigga in oil. He's gonna bring this whole thing down if we don't get this nigga. We gotta get this nigga quick. We supposed to be the baddest army on this planet. We get gonna let John this Ali nigga on the take phone. us down and destroy all the stuff we got. I'll tar and feather that nigga. Let's hang him from a tree. Nah, bro. Nah, man. We the FOI. Yeah. We the that niggas on TV bro. talking all we kinds of shit. Next thing buddy, you know, man. he gonna be on 60 Minutes. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, God. Let's blow up the damn house. Let's blow up the damn house. I'm ready to get Malcolm's ass right now. He's ready to die. He's ready to die. He's ready to die. He's ready to die right now. He's ready to die. 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 He's ready
Elijah Muhammad Jr. made it plain that his father wanted Malcolm X dead. His followers are violent against Negroes. Against Negroes? Yes, his, his, his followers will go out and attack another Negro like they will attack me. From his office at the Hotel Teresa on June 2, 1964, Malcolm composed a short but powerful letter that broke down just how cowardly Elijah Muhammad was in the face of the enemy. Hotel Teresa, New York City, June 2, 1964. Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Mr. Elijah Muhammad, despite the increasing acts of violence against fellow Afro-Americans instigated by the Fruit of Islam recently in Boston, New York, and Philadelphia, you have tried to give the public the impression that you are aloof to what is going on. But as the leader of the Fruit of Islam, your calculated silence will not enable you to escape the full blame for the explosive situation that is developing. Students of the Black Muslim Movement know that no member of the Fruit of Islam will ever initiate an act of violence unless the order is first given by you. Since you didn't open your mouth and give word to fight back when your faithful Muslim followers were brutally shot and beaten by white racists in Los Angeles, California, Rochester, New York, Monroe, Louisiana, and elsewhere, how can you justify now giving the word for your followers to declare war on each other simply because some refuse to follow you any longer? No matter how much you stay in the background and stir others up to do your murderous dirty work, any bloodshed committed by Muslim against Muslim will compel the writers of history to declare you guilty not only of adultery and deceit, but also of murder. Assalamu alaikum. Malcolm X. That letter was so damn truthful and hot, they could have roasted some chestnuts over it. But instead of them having an epiphany and saying to themselves, you know, Brother Malcolm is right. We lured the man into the organization believing we were for real. We need to leave the man alone. We ought to be ashamed of ourselves. But that wasn't going to happen. Not when goo gobs of money was coming in from H.L. Hunt.